G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, anyone that's uh, watched any of my videos will know that my poor, hard-working Chinese lathe, I'll say it, cheap Chinese lathe, which I've had for like, wow, over 20 years. Yep, about that, I suppose. It's done a humongous amount of work. The thing has been absolutely, yeah, really, really, really used. And uh, particularly in my retirement, I've made a zillion bloody things on it. Anyway, maintenance-wise, there's not a lot to do on these. And one of the features that uh, it's got are lead screw covers. Now, these things are fantastic. Fantastic. And you can see how the black finish is worn off from all the crap that's falling on them, you know, and then they compress it's a sign that the lathe has done a lot of work. The same with the ways. The ways are in fantastic condition and all I use is just ordinary car engine oil on them. I'm a believer that the best way to leave your ways is to use a lighter oil. It'll flush the crap off. You use whey oil on little lathes. It's too heavy. Just, all the shit will just stick there and build up. You're better off to squirt them down every, every time you use them, wipe them down with a tissue and just re them and then at the end do it again. It's pretty hard, pretty hard to cast iron on these things for sure. I've drilled it you know, when I've modified things and it must be made out of depleted uranium or something but gee, it's bloody hard. Anyway, I'm getting away from what I was talking about. The lead screw covers. And this morning I had the misfortune or carelessness. I broke a shear pin. Uh, and there's two shear pins up this end, the drive end, and uh, one's original and one is um, bronze. I just use a bit of bronze brazing rod, works fine. And uh, over the years, I've broken uh, countless numbers of them. But the problem with these lathes is that they um, they come up to full compression right where you're up close to the lathe, so. You got to be damn careful. You don't lock up and crash the the covers, and it's easy to do. Believe me. Anyway, I've done it lots of times. No big deal. Just knock out the pin and put in a bit of bit of brazing rod. Anyway, I fixed it this morning, and I'll show you. There it is. There, that's the pin I was replacing. And I thought to myself, you know, I haven't lubed this lead screw for like oh, five years. Have a look at it. It looks like it's still got good coverage there. And I use this stuff, which is a Loctite product. And I thought, well, I, I better do it again. It hasn't been done for quite a while. But it keeps the, the covers keep the thing perfectly clean. Absolutely nothing gets through these covers. And, you know, I... I grind on here and do everything. It's, uh, none of the crap gets in there. And if we look up this end, it'll look just the same. It'll be... It looks good, doesn't it? Beautiful. Clean as a whistle. So your lead screw is never going to wear out. But anyway, I thought, well, while I'm messing around, I might as well lube it, particularly on this side where all the travel is. That's where it gets all the work. And... Uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you what I use. This is the stuff. It's called Loctite 767. And it's a, a silvery sort of gooby goo that they make for slow moving shafts, um, chains, chain drives, mainly for you know, industrial use, machinery where there's dirt or grit or a lot of heat, heat. this is pretty heat tolerant and um, yeah that's all I've ever used on here and it just once you put it on it just I mean it sticks like shit to a blanket literally it's it's unbelievable it's, you want to wear some throwaway gloves when you're putting it on because it makes a hell of a mess and there's no way you'd want to use it on anything that's open you know not 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 covered because you'd get it everywhere you know and uh, so I don't recommend this for 
regular uncovered leaf screws, you know, you're better off just to use oil or if you have to, grease, you know. But uh, oil is the best bet because, it, as I said, it will flush away the, uh, the contaminants more than grease will. Anyway, I'm going to leave it, so I'll show you how I do it. It's no, no big deal, so we'll get on with it. So we break out the uh, disposable gloves. And uh, these are quite good. These are good heavy duty ones. So um, I got them through Blackwoods. They're not trial. Yeah, not trial. A lot better than those crappy ones they sell through Coles and Woolies and that. You know, these will stand a bit of wear and tear. You know, a little bit of reuse. Oh. Okay. Off with the cap. And then we just smear some of this stuff on. It's, uh, and the tube's getting down a bit. Just whack it on. And then use your little finger to move it around. And some of the old stuff, you can drag that up. But it's, uh, I might put it on my finger first, maybe. Yeah, do it that way, that'd be a better bit. There we go. And the, uh, yeah, I mean, the nuts on the uh, table, you know, for the, the uh, Dry will spread it round anyway. I can't remember how much this stuff costs. I don't think it was cheap. I mean, most Loctite stuff isn't cheap, but it is good gear, you know. They do make good product. I mean, the half nuts on this are still as in the same condition as when I bought this way the years ago. But, uh, I'll check out the other side as well. Just put a bit on here. Drive it up and that'll spread it all around. I think that stuff might have a certain amount of graphite in it. I'm, I'm not sure it looks like graphite. It's got that colour, you know. But it stays in place. It's pretty good. The other thing with these covers is you've got to oil them. So when you oil your, your ways with the oil can, run some oil along on the covers as well 
so that that way they'll slide, the coils will slide over one another as it compresses. These are metal. And now we're right. Yeah. Anyway, that's my tip. Loctite 767, but only for covered areas. You can use it on gears, you know, like for your um, carriage drive or anything like that. And um, but yeah, just make sure that you only use it in areas that you're not going to come in contact with because it makes a hell of a mess out of one. But it certainly stays in place, you know. It's very, very good at that. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.